Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been a very, very, very long time since I last recorded a video, um, but I'm back and I'm back with nothing other than a haul. And today's haul is from Pretty Little Thing. And when I tell you, when I saw that they were releasing this collection, I just knew I had to get my hands on literally everything. I was so excited. I practically did. <laughs> Today's haul is a pretty little thing featuring Molly Mae ski wear haul. I have skied my whole life. I've literally skied ever since my parents could get me in them little ski boots. I used to ski between my dad's legs because my parents taught me how to ski. And ever since then, I've basically gone every year, obviously despite the past couple years, for obvious reasons, but I'm really, really hoping restrictions allow us to go this year because I've missed it so, so much. And I need a new ski outfit and when I saw that they released this collection I was like this is just perfect to come back to YouTube with. I've obviously gone through a lot of ski outfits in my lifetime so I know what you kind of need for the ski slopes, for the weather and yeah I thought I would give my professional, not professional, um, opinion on the collection. So yeah I hope you are looking forward to it because I am really excited to show you the pieces and yeah let's just get on with the video. So I got not one parcel, two, but three. Let me see if I can actually show you. Um, three very, very large parcels. Um, I think I ended up spending roughly maybe around £600. Obviously, I probably won't keep all of it because unfortunately, I can't take that many ski outfits with me. Um, we are kind of limited on space, but... I'm just really excited so yeah let's open the first half so the first piece that i have opened is this ski jacket and it's got a belt around the front um i really tried to mix up kind of the different styles i got just so i could kind of show a bit of everything um this jacket does come with the matching trousers which i did buy um it's a cream color i obviously will try it on and i will kind of talk through it a bit more um it's got a lovely fur hood the hood is so soft i am kind of pleasantly surprised um with how soft it is i did get this in a size four i am quite petite however obviously when you've got all your layers underneath i potentially may size up but we'll see when i try on and these are the matching salad pets. As you can see, they have the same color scheme um, going down the leg. I love these colors. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of wearing um, a matcha kind of color, my favorite kind of color to wear. Um, so yeah, obviously cream, the skiing, it's not a great combination, but I love, I do love like a white outfit, um, although it probably blend into the snow and it does get extremely dirty. I still love it and yeah but it wouldn't stop me from buying an outfit i'm not gonna lie um but yeah i'm really excited to see what this is like it does feel quite thick um it's really soft inside so that's good you've obviously got the pockets on the sides and yeah that's the first outfit when i tell you i'm obsessed with this i am obsessed i'm gonna put the hood down so i feel like i look a bit ridiculous but look at this how cute I'm honestly obsessed. You can't really see the legs that much, but I love this colour. The fit is so good. I actually potentially would size up only because of how many layers I normally wear um, under my ski jacket. I'm pretty sure I've got the smallest size in this. So I think it's a four. I'd probably maybe get a six. Um, oh yeah, just because of how many layers I wear, because it is quite fitted. It is so soft, honestly. I'm obsessed. I can just imagine when it's snowing. Um, the hood is kind of small. Um, most other jackets that I've had, God, I'm getting really warm. Um, most other jackets that I've had, they've always been a little bit bigger because when it snows, I like to put my hood over my helmet. I don't know whether you could do that th th with this one, but I think it's so stylish. Honestly, I love, you've got pockets here on the side. There is another pocket on the arm as well. I think it's here. Um, so that's obviously where you put your ski pass in. I like it when um, jackets have pockets on the inside of the coat because I like to put my phone and stuff in there, but I don't think this one does. But honestly, I'm getting, I'm literally sweating while I'm doing this. So it definitely is warm, which I'm surprised about because most of the outfits are quite cheap for ski wear. And because I thought it was cheap, it says it's not performance wear as well. So that's my only concern um, because obviously in like, really really snowy blizzardy conditions i don't know how well it would hold out 
but I am loving it. I'm really, really warm now. So yeah, that's a good sign. It also does have these thumb holes, which I didn't realize. And I'm honestly obsessed. You know how much I love thumb holes, especially with ski wear. Um, so I think it just gives a really, really nice touch. But I love the bell. I just love how, you know, it all blends in together. So you might have seen me on the slopes with this one. Next, I went for something a little bit more bold. When I say a little, I probably mean a lot. I went for this red ski suit. And I don't know, I just love it. It's got these stirrup things at the bottom, which to be honest, you probably shouldn't actually, you should never tuck anything into your ski boots, um, but they are a bit stretchy, so potentially could still wear them. Um, but yeah, you just, you should never tuck anything into your ski boots. Only your socks, obviously, and that's about it. This has just got a zip running down to here, a nice belt around the front to kind of, you know, cinch the waist in. Don't know how, appropriate it would be to actually ski in i'd say if it was a bit of like a warmer weather it wasn't snowing you'd probably be fine as long as you layer up underneath but in like snowy conditions foggy potential snow blizzard i probably wouldn't advise it it is really thin um but i do love an all-in-one ski suit i think i got this in a size four as well yes i am roughly 5'1", I'm almost 5'2", but not quite. So yeah, I am very small. Um, so yeah, that would just be the reference. Let's just take a moment for this next one. Wow. I mean, I probably would not wear this to actually ski, but I love it. <laughs> I just think it's so stylish. A belt isn't actually like to tighten. It's more of just like an accessory to kind of, you know, bring the outfit together. Thumb holes, you know, 10 out of 10 from me. It is quite thin, but the material is really nice. It is definitely waterproof. But yeah, I probably would not ski in this. I would say maybe more at pro ski or maybe towards like the end of the ski season when, you know, it's not as cold, quite sunny. It doesn't snow as often. You probably would be able to, you know, get away with this. I am wearing the base layer leggings underneath this um, and it is still, you know, a little bit baggy towards um, the lower end and around the back but I honestly love it I'm just obsessed with all-in-ones I think they're so nice it's just a whole outfit in one I honestly don't think you can go wrong with them but yeah I do love it I kind of wish it was more you know extreme weather appropriate but wow <laughs> is all I can say now the next pieces are more of base layers I even opening this I just am absolutely in love. So I've got this top, which is really thick. It feels really thick. And it's got um, these thumb holes in, which I think are so good because there is nothing worse than your sleeve traveling up your arm while you're skiing, especially when it's freezing. The thumb holes just, you know, help you keep it at your hands and then you put your gloves over. I just think it keeps you extra warm, literally perfect. I think all kind of base layers should have that. And these matching leggings, again, really thick, um, a nice stretch ribbed material. Got the leggings in a size small. I think that was the smallest size that there was. However, I did end up getting the top in a medium because the size small was sold out. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it fits. I'm sure it'll be fine because it is quite stretchy. Yeah, obviously, if I could get a small, I would have got a small, but we will see how it fits. So this is the base layer two piece. As you can see, I have tucked it in, which I think it looks really nice because it kind of looks like an all-in-one and it keeps you just like extra warm because then you can like double layer in this area as well. I kind of am getting like Formula One driver vibes. I'm not really sure why, but I just kind of feel like that. And I tell you, the top literally comes down to here. It's like a mini dress on me. Um, obviously I did get the size medium. I will get the small if it comes available again because not is not the length that bothers me it's the um neckline it's obviously quite baggy and i'd much prefer if it was nice and tight just so i know that like no wind or like snow is going to go down because that is the worst feeling ever especially when it goes down the back when it's snowing really heavily obviously i do have a lot of hair so most of the time it does keep it out but i definitely prefer if it was nice and fitted it would just be a bit more comfortable um but honestly the material is so thick it's so soft it's super stretchy so that's literally why i think most sizes will probably fit most body sizes because it literally has so much stretch the tops are so long um which is really good but yeah i would definitely size down 
if I can, not size down in general, just get the size small because obviously I've got medium. I really like this. I really, really wish they had it in more colours. I think it just structures your body really nicely. And honestly, I cannot wait to wear this on the slopes. I feel like I could say that every next piece is my favourite piece. But honestly, I'm so obsessed with this piece. Again, it's like another base layer. I don't know like how practical it would be, but it's so stylish. And I probably wear this more like apro ski. And let me just show you because it speaks for itself. It is this kind of low cut. I think it kind of sits just below the boobs um, all in one with this pretty little thing logo um, all the way down. It's so thick. It's so soft. It's I'm honestly just obsessed. I would literally wear this out and about on a normal day <laughs> if I could. But I'd probably look a bit stupid. But I'm honestly obsessed to try this one on. Get this in an extra small. Normally, like, even extra smalls are probably a bit, like, long for me. But I'll just roll it up at the bottom. At Pro Ski, will see me in this 100%. Um, I'm in love. It's so soft. Literally so thick. So, yeah, I think they did really, really well with this one. And I'd love for it to come out in some more colours. If I was a ski outfit, I would be this outfit. Because, just, Wow look at this it's just incredible i mean it's so soft it literally kind of you know so it kind of shapes around your boobs um i would say you could wear this as like a base layer um or you know for apro ski i've just put on a kind of long sleeve black knitted top um i'd probably either wear it with you know an underlayer like a base layer um or just like a normal long sleeve black crop top kind of like this one um but not one that obviously you know comes up higher than here because i think it just kind of makes the outfit it's really really giving me the kylie jenner i'm pretty sure 2019 ski vibes you know the prada suit if you know you know i am obsessed obviously you've got the plt all over the back and it comes up nice and high at the back um, this way is definitely the right way, don't worry. Um, but yeah, I am obsessed. It fits like a glove and it's just so soft. Um, it's not too long to be fair. It's just, there's a little bit um, of like a roll at the bottom. Um, but I am obviously quite small. But yeah, I love this one. 10 out of 10. If you don't have it and you're going skiing, go and buy it. Two accessories, which I think just obviously complete an outfit. First, we've got this black fur headband. I hope the camera focuses. You see how soft this is. I honestly wish you could just like feel it through the camera. Um, I do have quite a big head, especially with my hair. I'm not gonna try and put it on now. But um, yeah, I love this, especially with the PLT um, logo all in one, the kind of underlayer one, or even the ski suit, you know, when you're having lunch and you wanna keep your ears warm, you might be quite high up in the mountains. It's really cold incredible or at pro ski again love a bit of at pro ski outfit um so yeah that is definitely a go-to and next are these white earmuffs they're so cute i actually thought i got these in black but clearly i got them in white i thought the white one sold out but maybe that was the headband but yeah anyway i wanted the white so um yeah they're not um quite similar um fur to the headband but they're still really soft and again while you're having lunch obviously you wouldn't wear them while you're skiing because you'll have your helmet on i hope um while you're having lunch just stopping for a drink you want to keep your ears warm um because i feel like you lose most of your heat through your head i'm pretty sure that is a fact don't tell me where but i'm pretty sure that's a fact um again at pro ski pictures it just completes the outfit i can safely say i think these next two um items are definitely my favorite ski suits out of the whole collection i know you all know exactly what they are you've probably seen them on molly may's instagram already but honestly i fell in love and the first one i'm going to show you is the cream all-in-one it's kind of got like a diamond kind of pattern from the stitching honestly i love it it's high neck it doesn't have a hood that's the kind of only downside of this one i do love a hood especially when it's snowing i normally put my hood like over my helmet i somehow managed to get all my hair tucked in but honestly i love it um the belt kind of cinches the waist into accentuate your figure a bit more it's got the plt um plated logo yeah um and it's also got stirrups again at the bottom and um, they're kind of like a similar stretch to the red suit um so again i don't know like 
whether it would work under a ski boot but I love it and do you know what even for apro ski I probably maybe wear this for apro ski because again like I told you like cream and white uh, while you're skiing it gets dirty so quickly you probably would like to keep your ski suit outfit for like one to two seasons but honestly by like a few days it's so dirty um I have had one of my white ski jackets for quite a few years and it's done well to be fair but yeah I'd maybe wear this one for apro ski or, like, but yeah, <laughs> I love it so much. Um, I got this in a UK four, so I'm really hoping that it does fit me. This with moon boots, you already know, I don't even need to say anymore. I mean, do I even need to say anything? <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna take these off, but how cute are they? They're so soft. They're just so pretty. And do you know what? I think you even need a pair of earmuffs or the headband because you know, when you take off your helmet and you've got the helmet hair, you know, you're sitting down for lunch, you wanna look kinda nice. It definitely takes the tension away from the helmet hair to these because, wow, they're so cute. But I'm gonna put them down and let you all take a look at this because, wow, it's gorgeous. I love it. Again, I'm literally sweating um, of how warm it is. I mean, it's really warm in my room right now, but, I love it. I'd probably wear like a snood around here. I was, I always, always, always wear like a nice big snood and I put it right up to here and I put my goggles on and I got my helmet on top and you cannot see my face in snows because there has been too many times where I've got tan lines from my goggles. But anyway, I'm obsessed with this. The belt actually obviously is a belt. It's not just an accessory. It's got the nice pockets here. It's got a pocket here so you can put your ski pass in because you know when you're going through the lifts, um, the kind of barrier thing is always on the left. So that's good. But I love it. It fits so well. Um, it has got stirrups at the bottom, um, which I probably wouldn't wear, obviously, because of what I explained before with the ski boots. But it's got thumb holes. I, th I actually think they all do now, thinking about it, which I'm obsessed with. Every outfit, a ski outfit needs this. Pockets are really deep, but I'll literally go down to there, which is great because to be fair, I wouldn't want to put too much in it because I wouldn't want to take away you know the shape but I love it I love the color even though it's not the wisest for skiing I love the color I'm obsessed one more time wow and you can probably already guess the next ski suit it is the black high shine all-in-one um ski suit again this one's got such a nice fur on the hood I hope the camera focuses it's so soft and like I said really pleasantly surprised because I did not expect it to be that soft even like some like well-known established ski brands it's not even as soft as that so wow the PLT ski is it gonna focus um plated logo the bell stirrup as well um again I'm gonna try and hold it down so you can see the stretch from there to there can you see um I don't know Again, how well under a ski boot, but would not stop me wearing it at all. Um, I just honestly am um, just obsessed. I love an all in one, and I will probably most definitely wear this. It does feel really thick, and nice, and padded, so that's good. The nice sleeves, and you've also got um, the zip on the sleeve for like your ski pass. Normally, ski passes are kind of lower down, um, but yeah, you can just, you know still fine um but yeah i love this one and i feel like this one is the outfit of the collection i haven't got the headband on properly just because i don't want to get any makeup on it but it's so soft so i wish you could feel it but yeah i just wanted to show you with this black outfit but i probably would put my hair through it all i think if i was to wear it out um but yeah i don't want to get any makeup on it so i was just going to show you like that roughly wow look at this outfit I love it. I mean, you definitely won't go missing because it's obviously completely opposite colours with the snow. But it's got pockets up here. It's got a pocket here. It's got the thumb holes. We love the thumb holes. It's got the PLT ski um, plate here. I don't know if it's focusing. I just love the belt. Since she's in at the waist, again, it's so warm. And I've been so pleasantly surprised with how warm it is. I know, obviously, we're not in ski conditions. I am in a very hot room, but... It's so nice. I love the shine. I think it just adds a bit more something because like 
sometimes like black outfits can just be really plain but this definitely just gives it a bit more of an edge sizing is perfect it's got the stirrups on the bottom i love it i love it i want to keep them all and i probably will knowing me i'm just really really praying that we're going to be able to get out on the slopes all going well restrictions let's all cross our fingers because i cannot wait to wear some of these and i am obsessed with the hood again it does have um I can't even show you with my hair, have these bits that you can clip around the front just to kind of give your neck extra warmth but the hood again is so soft but it is probably a little bit small, I don't know whether you'd be able to get it around your helmet, I'm trying to imagine, potentially, I'll let you know, you know, if I end up wearing it on ski slopes, I'll let you know but yeah, I love this so much. And if you made it to the end of the video, then thank you so, so much for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe so you can see the other videos that I've got coming. I've got so much planned. I'm going to try and stay consistent this time. I'd really, really be appreciated if you did like, comment and subscribe. I did do today's haul kind of differently to the ones that I've done before. I did wear the outfit and kind of talk you through it as I was wearing it. Whereas if you've watched my previous videos and if you haven't watched them, please go and watch them. Um, I kind of, you know, just inserted a little clip of me wearing it, but I feel like today's will probably be better but please let me know what you preferred I'm definitely open for constructive criticism I'm obviously still very 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 new to this I'd love to hear your feedback if you are going skiing this season please let me know in the comments where you're going when you're going I'm obsessed with skiing I don't I'm, I have not stopped talking about it to my friends literally the past few weeks they're probably sick of tired of me hearing it i only have one friend that can actually ski I'm really trying to convince my other friends to come and learn because it's so so much fun i'd love to vlog it now, i'm praying for us all that we're going to be able to get out there because i've already missed two seasons i'm not missing another one i was actually gonna apply to be like a chalet girl or something this year but i just never ended up doing it because i don't actually think i'd be able to do that kind of job I really, really hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye.